गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल अगेन सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ मिनी टैब वी गोइंग टू लुक एट टू सैम्पल टी टेस्ट है सो आई हैव टेकन वन एग्जाम्पल ओवर हेयर द मैनुफेक्चर इज बेसिकली सेलेक्टिंग द प्लास्टिक सप्लायर वीज टू सप्लायर सप्लायर ए एंड सप्लायर बी and decides to use the sample size of 20 from each of supplier to compare the breaking strength of plastic part and in this case the the operators have recorded the breaking strength in newton itself so i have populated the data in the worksheet below for supplier a under c1 column and supplier b under c2 column so let us look at how do we perform the two sample test using minitab So let's begin. Forget to like, comment, and share with all your friends as well. And in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe as well and to hit that bell icon as well. Okay, so now uh, that we have recorded the data, we the first thing that we need to do is to um, create a graph here, a dot plot maybe to look at uh, the, how the data looks like. We will go to graph here. Go on dot plot. multiple wise since there are two suppliers supplier a and supplier b had it only been supplier a then would have selected simple one but in this case we have multiple suppliers you will select this option multiple y and we click the okay here <coughs> we have to select supplier a and supplier b here so that is how you do click okay now we get the two dot plot showing that that the of two supplier supplier and supplier b now you can look at the graph shows the strength data of both the suppliers on average the breaking strength of supplier a appears to be higher than the that of supplier b right and uh, uh, if you talk about the b the cursor of if you look at if you move that this point over here in the supplier b which is row number 10 shows a value of 0 so if we have either if you look at this point if you look at if you go to your data sheet here over here look at the supplier b what is the point here it says zero value now after checking with the person who entered the data here we figure out that the information is missing due to the operator's error so instead of entering zero you should enter asterisk over here so i'm going to replace it with asterisk and click okay right so once you click okay you will see the, the graph shows the yellow icon over here earlier it was green so this is this has uh, something to do that the graph is not updated right now so what you can do you can update it graph by right clicking on this thing and click update graph now now it will have tick mark and the graph has been updated accordingly now from the uh, dot plot you can see that the supplier a has more spread of variation than supplier b Because it is spreading around 175, and supplier B is only till 165 or something around here. So supplier A is more spread. So what we will do here, uh, we will uh, now do the uh, use of, uh, we will create the number of bins here. So we'll click on this line, and then click on binning. You can select the number of intervals over here. So as of now, we select six intervals here. and click now you can see that the data had been uh, sorted in this way right next what we will look at is the graphical summary of both the suppliers we will go to stats again basic stats graphical summary we we'll select two suppliers if we keep the confidence interval level as 95 as of now and click okay so we have we get two uh, graphs here supplier a and supplier b right now if you want to look at both the graphs simultaneously uh, go to this option it says show graph folder click on this and this simultaneously and right click move tile so you have two graphs side by side now 
Now you can look at, you can interpret the uh, information you want to extract from this graphs. Looking at the histograms of both the uh, suppliers, supplier A and supplier B, we can say that they, are, they looks uh, almost normally distributed, but you can still confirm using Anderson Darling test whether they are still normal or not. Yeah. The confidence interval basically and the bottom of these graphs are basically estimate are used to estimate the true population parameters based on the samples and parameters such as like mean, median, standard deviations are commonly estimated as shown in the output graph. So what next? Now we will conduct a two sample T standard test on supplier strength. And the two supplier T test basically helps us determine whether the two population means of from different supplier are different or not, right? So in this example, the strength from supplier A process are not influenced by the strength of supplier B, thus the sample are independent. So we will test it using no two sample t test here. So we are going to conduct a two sample t test. So our null hypothesis would be that mean of supplier A and supplier minus mean of supplier B is not or they are equal basically, right? And your alternate hypothesis would be that they are different. So we go to stats here. We go to basic stats and two sample t test right so we since are both the uh, uh, e sample have are not in same column and here the samples aren't shown in its own column so we'll select sample one as supplier a and supplier b right and under options we have to click we select the confidence interval as 95 and the alternate will be that there is there is difference is not equal to the hypothesis different right and uh, you, you click ok and under graphs you can click on box plot right so once you click box plot click ok and ok so this is your interpretation so we can see that the average sample breaking strength from supplier A appears to be a little higher than average sampling strength from supplier B. The sample variability in breaking strength from supplier A appears to be large as compared to the sample variability in the breaking strength from supplier B. Right? Now you need to look at the results from hypothesis uh, test to determine if the observation from graph are significant or not. Now we will look at the statistics what we have got from the two sample t test here. Since the t value of test is around 2.5 and the associated p value is 0.018. The p value 0 0.08 is the probability of arriving at the t value with magnitude of 2.5 or greater if the null hypothesis of no difference is true. Thus, we reject the null hypothesis at 0.0% confidence interval, alpha level or 90% confidence interval and conclude that the mean strength are different in this case. That is your conclusion in this case. That is to sample t-test using mini tab. Thank you and have a great day.